I hear a great band? Sure. They're called Bucket of Hate. <laughs> oh. What do you think? Nice. Beat. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Quite a mouth on this fella. <laughs> Guess that's why they're not called Bucket of Bunnies, huh? Who's he listening to? Bucket of Hate. They're good. Reminds me of early Who. Who? Yeah. What? Band's called Who. Bucket of Hate. <laughs> and I work for your family. <laughs> Boy, I never knew there were so many rhymes for suicide. Yeah, what's patricide? It means to honor thy father. Oh, well, then that song doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, I'm still trying to figure out what a Susu Studio is. So, uh, BOH is playing at the Santa Monica Civic Center next weekend. Cool. My friend Seth Freeman got tickets. Can I go? How are you going to get there? Car. Thank you. <laughs> Whose car? Seth's brother. He's 17 and he's never been in an accident that was his fault. I don't think so. Why not? Why don't I think it's appropriate for a 13-year-old to go to a rock concert with no adult supervision? I told you, Rocco's 17. His name is Rocco. Yeah. So, Rocco Friedman. Yeah, you know him? No, but I'm not letting someone named Rocco Friedman drive you to a Bucket of Hate concert. That's it, just no. Oh, I'm sorry. No way in hell. <laughs> Jay, do you want Grandmommy to teach her how to use chopsticks? Don't confuse him. He just learned how to use a fork. <laughs> Real funny, Alan. <laughs> Alan? What happened to Dad? He turned into Benino Mussaroni. <laughs> the San Francisco tree? It's Mussolini, Professor. He's just upset because I won't let him go to a concert tonight. Why not? Because there's no adult supervision. Oh, don't be such a fuddy-duddy, Alan. He's a teenager. Teenagers don't go to concerts with their parents. I'm with Evelyn on this. Well, forget it. You are not going to the concert. Oh, listen to you. Remember when I said you couldn't go to that Peter Frampton concert? You snuck out of the house and went anyway. Really? Mom, no. <laughs> I was in Martinique at the time, but the housekeeper was beside herself. And, and, and I was severely punished for that, right? Oh, sure. I tried grounding you and taking away TV privileges, but at a certain point, every parent has to accept that they're powerless when it comes to controlling a teenager. Really? No. No, not, not really. P parents are, are powerful, very powerful. <laughs> Trust me, I I'm only doing this for your own good. <sighs> what the hell was that? Same thing Grandma did. No, it's not. You sound like you're coughing up a fur ball. Yeah, well, I'm making the same point. Did it even occur to you that you could help me with this? I was not put on this earth to help you out. <laughs> You're my mother. Yes, and as you never tire of pointing out, not a good one. 